this video, you'll see how to remediate security non-compliance using AWS Config Rules and a Custom Systems Manager, or SSM document. With these services, you can continuously evaluate the configuration settings of your AWS resources, detect any instances of non-compliance, and then remediate those issues. For the purposes of this example, we'll evaluate and remediate issues with an Amazon Simple Storage Service, or S3 bucket. Let's take a look at our S3 buckets. Notice we have buckets that allow public access, which could be a potential security issue. We can inventory and evaluate configuration changes to these resources by enabling AWS Config. First, specify the resource types you want AWS Config to record. Let's keep the defaults and opt to include global resources. Let's stream the configuration changes and notifications to an Amazon Simple Notification Service, or SNS topic. Let's accept the other default settings, including the choice to create an AWS Config Service linked role. AWS can check the configuration of your resources against rules that you define. We'll come back to this after completing some additional setup. So for now, Let's skip creating a rule. Now confirm the settings to enable AWS Config. Now that AWS Config has been set up, let's switch to the Amazon Simple Notification Service to create a new topic. Once a topic is created, you need to add a subscription. For this example, we'll simply subscribe an email address that notifications can be sent to. Now that the initial configuration is complete, let's return to AWS Config and create a config rule. You can create config rules to monitor configuration changes in many different AWS resources. In this case, we're going to create a rule to monitor our S3 buckets. Let's select this S3 Bucket Public Read Prohibited rule, which checks that S3 buckets do not allow public read access. As our initial remediation action, let's choose to send notifications to the SNS topic we created. Now, type in a simple message for the notification and provide the appropriate Amazon resource name for the topic. This rule has been created and is now evaluating compliance. Now that the rule has finished evaluating, we can see that it has detected non-compliant resources. This means that some of our S3 buckets have public read access. We can click the rule to see which resources are non-compliant. Let's select one of the S3 buckets and investigate further. Selecting Manage Resource opens the Buckets page in the S3 Management Console. Let's look in the Permissions tab to review the policy that's making the bucket publicly accessible. When we examine the bucket policy, we can see that it does indeed allow public read access with no restrictions. Let's update this policy to restrict access to a specific IP address. Now let's save our changes and return to AWS Config to evaluate the rule again. As you can see, now only one S3 bucket is considered non-compliant. Next, let's look at buckets with a status of compliant. As you can see, the bucket that we just updated the policy for is included on this list. For any resource, you can quickly identify changes to the configuration by viewing the configuration timeline. This shows you exactly when changes to the bucket policy were made. The compliance timeline shows you when the bucket was and was not compliant. Now, let's return to the S3 Management Console to remove the bucket policy we updated earlier so we can demonstrate another way to remediate the public read access issue. This time, 
Let's use the S3 bucket settings to block all public access. To test whether all public access to this bucket has been blocked, let's see what happens when we try to add back the policy that enables public access. Notice that when we try to save this policy, we get an error. Now let's add back our policy that restricts access to a single IP address. Because this policy does not enable public access, it is allowed. You've just seen how to manually remediate an issue by going to the S3 bucket and correcting the policy. Now, let's reset this bucket to a state that allows public access so we can see another way to remediate non-compliant issues. The bucket has now been restored to its initial non-compliant state. Let's return to AWS Config to confirm its status. Once again, we can see the bucket is shown as non-compliant. Let's navigate to AWS Systems Manager to resolve the non-compliance issue by using a document to apply the policies we want. Systems Manager documents enable you to author configuration changes and automation workflows, and then execute those changes consistently to your resources. Let's create a document we can use to disable S3 read access. We'll select Automation as the document type. In this case, we'll add our content in YAML format. This code will disable public read and write access for the specified S3 bucket. Now, let's create the document and return to AWS Config. Next, let's update this rule to specify the AWS Systems Manager automation document as the remediation action. First, we'll remove the existing remediation action. Then, Let's select the document we just created as the new remediation action. Once we have selected the document, we can specify the resource ID as the parameter to pass to the document during execution so it knows what S3 bucket to apply the policy change to. Now let's save the changes and scroll down to see the list of resources this rule has identified as non compliant. Let's select the S3 bucket and then click the Remediate button. This action triggered the execution of the AWS Systems Manager automation document. When we refresh the page, we can see that the S3 bucket has been removed from the non-compliant list. Let's return to the S3 Management Console and review the bucket settings. Notice the message indicating that this policy will be blocked. When we review the bucket settings, we can see that the Block All Public Access settings have been re-enabled by the remediation action. You've just seen how to remediate security non-compliance using AWS Config Rules and a custom SSM document. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.